I always have the boat in my family's best interest at heart. When I was 18, he didn't want me to go fishing. Deadliest Catch Star Mandy Hansen was a skilled, brave, and resilient fisherwoman who had worked to become the second-in-command in a male-dominated industry. Born on May 15, 1996, in Seattle, Washington, she was introduced to sea life when her mother divorced her father and married fisherman CEO Sig Hansen. He co-owned the fishing fleet Northwestern, along with his brothers Norm and Edgar. Sig adopted Mandy, and she took his last name. Mandy discovered her obsession with water and spent her summers on the boat with her father, trying to understand fishing and its challenges. Sig Hansen described her as an outdoor and adventurous type, but he knew she would face danger soon. Mandy was determined to learn how crabbing worked, which scared her father. He told her that she could watch him fish, but she did not have to be part of it. Sig Hansen, a Norwegian-American fishing captain, was the best man for the job besides her father. Born in Seattle, Washington on April 28, 1966, Sig joined his family's fishing business at age 14 and worked an average of 10 months per year in Alaska and the Bering Sea. At age 22, he became a relief skipper and did part-time work on other boats. Two years later, Sig was Northwestern's boss, oversaw all the fleet's activities, and prioritized the safety of his crew members. Northwestern never had a single death record as an overseer. In summary, Mandy Hansen was a skilled, brave, and resilient fisherwoman who showed many young girls that they could face whatever challenge as long as they put their minds to it. Her story serves as a reminder of the importance of perseverance and the potential dangers faced by women in the fishing industry. In 2005, Sig Hansen started Deadliest Catch, a fishing reality show on Discovery Channel that followed the lives of crab fishermen in the Bering Sea. The show focused on the challenges faced by fishermen in the harsh conditions of the Alaskan Sea, which was ranked as one of the most dangerous jobs in the world in 2006. So what is the worst weather and lowest altitude you guys can safely operate in? So I gotta say the most critical phase of flight that we operate in is when we don't have visual with the water above 300 feet. The U.S. Coast Guard stationed rescue helicopters at Integrated Support Command Kodiak, Alaska, and their outpost on St. Paul Island to help rescue crew members who fell prey to the harsh conditions of the Alaskan Sea. In the pilot episode of Deadliest Catch, the death rate in the Alaskan Sea during the main crab season was revealed to average nearly one fisherman per week, with nearly 100% of injuries due to severe weather conditions. Over 80% of those deaths were due to drowning or hypothermia. However, the production tried to adjust the fishing rules to make the job safer. Sig Hansen had suffered a heart attack in season 12 of the show, known as The Widowmaker, and later another heart attack scare in 2019. He returned to deadliest catch the next season, determined to keep showing up no matter what. Mandy Hansen, who graduated from Bishop Blanchett High School in Seattle and moved to San Diego, was determined to pursue a career in fishing, even when her father wanted her in a less dangerous field like her siblings. One day, Sig tried to sway Mandy into considering a career in another field but she refused. He started teaching her about the risks and the importance of survival in the face of danger. She initially joined the Northwestern crew as a greenhorn, learning the ropes of the fishing industry from her father and experienced crew members. Within a few episodes of Deadliest Catch, Mandy proved worthy of working with her father and exploring more fishing adventures. She went on to become the youngest woman to ever fish on the Bering Sea during the winter which was the most dangerous time to fish. In conclusion, Deadliest Catch is a powerful portrayal of the challenges faced by fishermen in the harsh conditions of the Alaskan Sea. It highlights the importance of perseverance, determination, and the sacrifices made by those who choose to pursue careers in the dangerous and dangerous world of commercial fishing. Mandy Hansen, a woman who became a permanent crew member on Deadliest Catch, faced the challenge of navigating the men's world while maintaining her feminine characteristics tradition. Every summer, they head out into the water, enjoying the beautiful Pacific Northwest. She was nervous about her new role and the potential negative impact on her career. However, she was determined to prove herself and eventually became a full-time deckhand on the Northwestern vessel. One day, while floating with her father, Mandy experienced a power outage and a fire that threatened the safety of the crew. She stayed calm and helped her father put out the fire, gaining higher trust. The fleet's website praised her as charismatic, hardworking, and headstrong, making her a respected figure in reality television. Sig Hansen, Mandy's father, was scared for his daughter but hoped the incident would change his mind. He hoped it would make her more resilient. Mandy decided to get a bigger license in maritime studies, 
allowing her to operate on any big ship and make her a valuable addition to any fishing company. Mandy is a wise woman who understands that things don't always go how they should in the maritime world. What makes her different is her determination to find a solution to every challenge she encounters in her career and her ability to learn from every situation. She never gave up. Mandy's love life was also a struggle. She had to balance her work as a crab fisherman with her desire to create a small family while pursuing her dreams. Her husband, Clark Pedersen, was also a crab fisherman who worked for her father, Sig Hansen. Clark attended Washington State University in Pullman and worked as a deckhand and captain in training on the Columbia River after graduation. In 2017, Clark visited the Hansen family's Seattle residence to seek Sig's blessing for Mandy's hand in marriage. After getting Sig's blessing, he called Mandy privately on deck and proposed to her, and she gladly accepted. On June 10, 2017, Mandy and Clark were married in holy matrimony at a fisherman's shipyard in Seattle. Clark later admitted that working with his wife and father-in-law made him slightly anxious, but he was proud of their accomplishments and the teamwork they had built. However, tragedy struck when Mandy's dreams crumbled. Well, Mandy's legacy in the show was nothing short of remarkable, as the waves of challenge continued to shape her path. In conclusion, Mandy Hansen's journey as a woman on Deadliest Catch was marked by challenges, friendships, and the sacrifices she made to achieve her goals. Despite the challenges, Mandy's determination and resilience ultimately led her to become a successful and respected figure in the world of fishing. Mandy Hansen, a reality TV star and second-in-command in her father's company, revealed the heartbreaking news of her miscarriage on February 11, 2019. She shared a photo of a white baby onesie and tiny crab-themed booties, expressing her persevering love and hope to meet her little one someday. Mandy's net worth is estimated to be around $1.5 million, excluding endorsements and partnerships. With her hard work and skill, she has made a name for herself and made significant money from her role as a regular cast member in Deadliest Catch. Her earnings from fishing, her major profession, form a substantial part of her net worth. Mandy also earned money working as a deckhand at Northwestern, which monetized her platform by securing endorsement deals and partnerships. With her continued involvement in Deadliest Catch and her work as a fisherman, her net worth is expected to continue growing in the coming years. However, Mandy knew she had a greater responsibility as her father was getting old, and she had to be prepared. As her father grew older, she had to be prepared for her own future. In a gradual transition, celebrity fisherman Sig Hansen has been the main star of the Deadliest Catch, handing over the reins to his daughter. Mandy has learned a lot about sales, ship management, and leadership from an early stage, so the transition has been smooth so far. One day, while captaining a crab fishing vessel, Mandy faced her biggest leadership test when she encountered a dangerous situation. The crew warned her that a hook had worked loose while the vessel was traveling too quickly to fix it. Despite the danger, no one was injured. <clears throat> All right. I just, I don't know if I can talk my dad into it. He's really set on fishing our steel pots and Mandy learned a valuable lesson from the incident. Shortly before the scene, deckhands expressed concerns for Mandy's and the crew's safety while she was captaining the vessel by herself. Sig returned from his break, gave Mandy a harsh lecture, and she promised to be more careful. Amidst all the hectic activities, Mandy found time to work towards creating a family, and she soon fulfilled her lifelong dream of having a child. Mandy Hansen, a successful fisherwoman, faced a miscarriage but persevered to have a baby. She and her husband, Clark Pedersen, welcomed their daughter, Sailor Marie Pedersen, on November 10th. The newborn, weighing 8 pounds and measuring 21.5 inches long, was born on November 10th. Mandy expressed the incredible feeling of bringing a child into the world and the importance of parenting. She also shared her reasons for choosing the name Sailor, which reflected her family's Scandinavian heritage, lifestyle, and profession. Mandy worked tirelessly towards her goal, resulting in a little bundle of joy. Her father, Sig Hansen, was emotional when he saw her and admired her every move. He admitted that moments like this made their work harder, but they knew it was their job. Mandy's legacy is soaked in resilience and diligence. She returned to the deck of deadliest catch to the surprise of her fans, who thought she would end the show after having her baby. However, Mandy had other plans. She represented her father at Northwestern and continued his legacy. Mandy lives a hazardous commercial fishing life, requiring skills and competence at sea. As waves of uncertainty continue to cross her path, she remains a beacon of hope for young and aspiring women who want to step out of the box and become a shining light in any male-dominated industry. 
Her life reflects the sacrifice and hard work to achieve one's dream. I'm so proud of her for that, that she not only learned, but went by her own true gut. As well as her adaptability and bravery as she worked to the top. Mandy is also known for her philanthropic efforts, particularly those related to marine conservation and the welfare of fishermen. She is actively involved in various charitable causes, particularly those related to marine conservation and the welfare of fishermen.